Alright, uh, greetings to you all and uh, welcome to today's uh, discussion in medicine with me Sunday Snaram. Yes, so in our discussion this evening we are going through malaria. So malaria that is the topic that we we'll, uh, will discuss on this uh, evening. Yes, so the theme of the question reads, Mr. Mwewa, age 23 years, is brought to your clinic with complaints of headache and vomiting. Following investigations, a diagnosis of malaria is made. Question A1, it was saying define malaria. That was question A1. So for the definition, I'm saying malaria basically it is just a protozoa infection of the blood that is caused by plasmodium species that are transmitted by an infected female anopheles mosquito and it is characterized by general body malaise, headache, and also vomiting. Yes. So that is the definition of malaria. So when you're defining this condition, it is very important that you talk about the cause of this condition. It is very important that you talk about the transmission. It is also very vital that you talk about the characteristics of these conditions that I just mentioned. It is very important that you mention that. Yes. Then for question A2, question A2 it was saying state five other signs and symptoms that Moewa will present with on admission other than the ones mentioned in the stem. Yes. So the question it has asked us to mention five signs and symptoms other than the ones that were mentioned in the stem. So the ones that were mentioned in the stem we had headache and what vomiting. So meaning that we're not supposed to include these in our tea, in our, our signs and symptoms. So other than headache and uh, vomiting we have fever. So fever it occurs as a result of uh, the presence of uh, parasites in the uh, in the uh, blood. Yes. Then uh, the other thing other than that we could also talk about what uh, joint pains. So joint pains they occur as a result of what uh, ischemia. Yes. The third one that I could, that I could also mention I could also talk about what uh, body pains or could just say general body malaise. So so this one it usually occurs as a result of what uh, tissue hypoxia. Yes. Then the other one is the fourth one. We we'll also talk about what uh, sweating. So sweating it occurs as a result of an elevated what uh, body temperature. Final but not, but not the least, we we'll also talk about what uh, dehydration. So dehydration, this one it occurs as a result of fever, which is accompanied by what uh, sweating. Yes. So those are the signs and symptoms that Mr. Mwewa may present with on admission. Yes. Then for question B, question B it was saying explain three stages of fibro illness uh, are typical in what in malaria. Explain three stages of what fibro illness typical in malaria. Yes. So this question it was asking about what the stages of what of fibro illness that are typical in malaria of which we have a cold stage, we have hot stage and also have what uh, a sweat stage. Yes. So these are the stages of what fibro illness that are typical in this condition. So when it comes to cold stage, when it comes to cold stage, this stage it usually lasts for about an hour. Yes. This stage it usually lasts for about an hour. Yes. So in this stage find that the patient will be uh, there will be intense feeling of what of cold and also the body they will be shivering in this stage. Yes. So when you do a physical assessment you find that the patient will be cyanosed the skin may be dry and also a pale. Yes. The second stage, it is hot stage. For hot stage, this one, it, la it usually lasts for about t uh, two to six hours. Yes. So this one, in this uh, stage, you find that uh, the ubuati, there is uh, basically an elevated ubuati, body temperature of about 41 degrees Celsius. So as a result, the patient may have a headache and also some seizures may, may accompany uh, this stage. Yes. Then for the last stage, it is the sweat stage. Yes. So this stage, it is basically the stage of sweating. Yes. Then uh, this one, it usually lasts for about what? For about two to four hours. Yes. So there will be profuse what? Sweating under this stage, which eventually lead to what? Uh, uh, a sudden fall in what? In uh, body temperature below normal. Yes, so those are the stages that are involved in what in uh, fibro illness that are typical in what in malaria. Yes. Then question C, it was saying discuss the management of Moewa under the following headings. The first heading was uh, medical management. 
Yes. So in talk of medical management, we know to say we need to talk about what two important things in this uh, uh, heading, of which we have uh, investigations and also the treatment. So under investigations, we can do history taking, we can do physical examination, we can do a full blood count, we can also do uh, RDT test, could be done. Then we could also do lumbar puncture, as this one to help us in ruling out what uh, a cerebral malaria and also meningitis. Yes, so those are some of the, the investigations that could be done in uh, uh, at this condition. Yes, coming to the treatment. The first line treatment for uh, malaria, it is what? It is coatem. And this, if, uh, uh, if the treatment involves a child who weighs less than 10 kg, yes. But the, the first line treatment for malaria, it is what it is a coatem, unless if the, the, the child is, unless if uh, the child weighs 10 kg and below. Yes. Or unless if uh, the, the, uh, our client or our patient is what is pregnant, when it comes to pregnant women, we're not supposed to give what coatem in the first trimester. Yes. Other than coatem, also give quinine if, uh, if uh, malaria becomes uh, complicated. We could also give consider in what in uh, in uh, in children yes we can give consider yes then question uh, c2 it was saying it was asking us about what the nursing management so the nursing management just need to follow that general management that we've been writing yes then uh, question d question d it was saying explain five points you would include in your information, education, communication to Mr. Moyo and family on the prevention of what of malaria. So for this one, we can talk about what use of insecticide treated mosquito nets. It's very important to mention that point. Yes. Other than that, we could also talk about what environmental modification. It is very important that you talk about the environmental uh, modification in the prevention of what malaria. Yes. Other than that. We could also talk about what lazy duty spraying. So it is very important that you use some uh, sprays as these ones will help us in, in killing what some insects. Yes. Then other than that, we could also talk about what use of uh, mosquito repellents. So it is very important that you talk about the mosquito repellents in the prevention of uh, malaria. And finally, but not the least, we could also talk about what wearing of what long clothes. Yes. So those are some of the the, the ways through which. Uh, malaria could be prevented. Yes.